Hello! This points in this video shows you how you can create and use auto images. Here we have an AutoCAD drawing opened and the point cloud of the ground floor of Qubit headquarter building um, loaded with half a billion points approximately. And if we want to create an auto image we switch to the top view first. Um, in order to create the floor plan. And here you see the dialog with some introductional information and you can do the settings uh, for the resolution of the auto image in AutoCAD units per pixel and you can define a pixel size or a point size in pixels. For the resolution you have two options. You can define it by uh, average point distance or by zooming in and using the double screen resolution as resolution for your auto image. It's the more easier option. You see the resolution has changed. It's just about six millimeters resolution now. Recommendation is to create for some small portions auto first to um, evaluate which resolution is best for a nice auto and then um, create the final auto image for the whole cloud. The X-ray helps you to um, emphasize the edges more and you have image can define image planes from the current view, from qubit planes and from the UCS planes. As you can see here. Okay. Um, and finally you select the boundary for the auto image by dragging a box around your area of interest. In this case we take the whole um, floor of the building. Okay, there was the box, the red box still highlighted. And you can see uh, the approximate file size of your resulting image. In further settings you can check the pixel size once more and you can also check an image scale if you want to. Okay, I will reduce to one centimeter uh, per pixel dimension of the resulting image to reduce the file size of the image a bit further and it's sufficient for my uh, task to do. Then I press create auto image, search for a location to store it and then Put it here and then enter a file name and select uh, file format. In this case I selected TIFF format. We recommend to select either TIFF or PNG files because they uh, are compressed or uh, don't lose uh, resolution. Okay, processing takes quite a while. Um, this depends on the size of the point cloud and the size of the resulting image and the resolution of course. If you have AutoCAD 2014 choose RCP files rather than PCG files to increase performance and um, well here if processing is finished you can switch to the top view of the image and could digitize but uh, usually you create those ortho images in order to hand them on to a customer. You see the outlines are clear and I didn't need to slice the point cloud first. So to hand on oh, let's, yeah, let's first compare some uh, results. On the left you have 50% um, x-ray in the center we have 90% x-ray and on the right hand side you see the outlines come very clear if you choose 100% um, x-ray so this option is for digitizing outlines of walls. Now we prepare the drawing for the use in other CAD therefore we go back into the drawing start the xref command select the point cloud and detach it from the drawing because you want to hand on the DWG or DXF file to a customer 
who whose cat doesn't um, support point clouds. So we remove the point cloud and hand on the drawing with just the author image in place. Then the customer can open the DWG or DXF in his own CAD. Here we have Briggs CAD. And then can start digitizing uh, from top of the auto image. Like we can see it here. Just start the line command in his CAD and follow the outlines of the auto image of the building. Here you go. And now we just zoom out a little bit further and um, pan over to another room and we will add some uh, dimension annotations to the drawing to check the length of that room. And another one to check the width of the room. Okay, there's the object snap enabled. Let me turn off the object snap first. Okay, and here we have the width of that room. Okay, thick lines. Here you go. An alternative workflow, you may define a slice before you produce the author image. Let's see and compare the results then afterwards. Here we again have the point cloud, rotate it a bit, uh, define a section with a section uh, tools of point sense, a section parallel to XY plane of the coordinate user coordinate system, and enable the object snap, start point of the slice and define its thickness. And you see in the slice the outlines of the building are clear. In AutoCAD you could use this right away for creating your floor plan, but if you want to have a user, customer needs this in a CAT without point cloud support, then you would need to create the author image. That's what we are doing now. Let's increase X-ray percentage to 90 again. Resolution we leave as we had it for the other auto image to be able to compare a bit better. Leave it with not one centimeter per pixel and create the auto image with the same extent. Save it under a different name and also select another file format. Let's take PNG, it takes less storage space. And again, processing takes quite a while, then you switch to the top view of the image and you see the outlines. Looks very similar. Let's compare the results. On the left we have the result of the author with defining a slice beforehand and on the right Without slicing, you see the outlines come out clear even without slicing the point cloud, so you can skip the step of slicing. Finally, let's have a look at author image creation of a facade. Again, it's Qubit headquarters. And uh, we first clip out the facade of interest to help the software uh, not to get confused with points which are lie behind the facade. We are interested in creating the author image. We choose the clip polygon command from the sections tools and to keep the inside of the polygon like here. Okay. Then we fit a plane to the uh, facade. It's an average plane by least squares. Okay. And we want to set the user coordinate system to that plane and sometimes uh, the direction of the UCS is not correct so you will have to rotate it around the y-axis if necessary and 
then we could start creating the ortho image. For the facade we reduce the x-ray to zero and uh, to have the full color then we did again define the resolution by zooming in. So here we have five millimeters which is nice. We stick to the current view but we could also select an uh, xy plane. Um, we switch to the top view and run the auto command again. To top view is necessary because we selected the option uh, image plane current view. Again you see the size of the resulting image. Create a, another name of a file and again we use PNG format, save it, processing takes a while. As I cut it of the processing time here, we switch to the top view of the image. Let me switch on all points. You see that's if you choose current view then the image uh, lies in front of the facade. And if we want to digitize on the image right away in the image plane then you switch to UCS to the image and start digitizing on top of the image. Otherwise you would select a different um, plane for image plane or then we can use it and just digitize some cat geometry on top of the ortho image in order to create a facade plan for instance just using the native cat commands in here alright I think you got an impression Thanks for your attention.